Accord. Mm -hmm. Homer Plessy made what white Southerners, Southerners would call mm -hmm. a major mistake. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be seated mm -hmm. in a boxcar mm -hmm. that was restricted to him because of the color of his skin. Mm -hmm. His case went all the way to the Supreme mm -hmm. Court. Mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court ruled that separate but equal Good. Mm -hmm. was constitutional. Mm -hmm. Well, that gives rise then to what becomes known as the Jim Crow era. Mm, all right. Now, now, after 1896, mm -hmm. what we then have in America, two distinct worlds, one black and one white. Okay. It gives rise then to, to the color theater, mm -hmm. the white theater, mm -hmm. the colored water fountain, the white water fountain, the, the color, color park, park. The, <laughs> the white park, mm -hmm. the color school. Mm -hmm. And let's stop at the color school mm -hmm. because they were separate, mm -hmm. but they were not equal. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up in the old city of Nashville, mm -hmm. I attended the Wharton School. Mm -hmm. And at the old Wharton School, uh, my first grade classroom was in the basement. Mm -hmm. When it rained, it rained on us in the basement. Mm -hmm. There were those cold winter mornings where there was no no coal for the furnace. Mm -hmm. We could we sat there in our coats, mm -hmm. and if we blowed our breath, you can see it in we could I see our breath. Mm -hmm. But we still learned, mm -hmm. even though we received the second class, mm -hmm. the hand-me-down textbooks that they didn't want and had used and abused. Mm -hmm. When they got the new ones, mm -hmm. we got the old, old ones. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Haney, I served notice today mm -hmm. that it did not stop us mm -hmm. from excelling and learning because we had Negro educators mm -hmm. who knew the importance mm -hmm. of education mm -hmm. and who realized that it was our meal ticket. It was our, 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 our ticket to the promised land. Mm -hmm. So even though we were being taught in adverse situations, they were determined that we were going to get a quality education mm -hmm. because they knew mm -hmm. that a mind is a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. To waste. Now, over the last three minutes, uh, uh, when you look at uh, the African American public education today, uh, what, what, what do you find? Uh, has the uh, 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 advent of President Obama done any? Has that done anything to uh, help elevate uh, higher education among Africans? Uh, what, what do you think the situation is? In Obama has has made a great stride. Uh, in improving quality education in America across well, the board. Good. Across the board. Uh, he calls it race to the top. Mm -hmm. uh, the Obama administration here in our native uh, great state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. uh, we were awarded $800 million mm -hmm. here in Tennessee mm -hmm. um, uh, to improve mm -hmm. quality education mm -hmm. all across the state. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Haney, we must understand it's good to have the money. Mm -hmm. But sometimes throwing money at a situation mm -hmm. does not mean you have solved, solved the problem. The problem. Mm -hmm. See, I have a problem sometimes when we take good money mm -hmm. and throw it after bad money or throw it in the wind. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm saying then with that, we do need the $800 mm -hmm. million. Dollars. Mm -hmm. But is the $800 million really being trickled down mm -hmm. to those who really need the need money, the money mm -hmm. in order to elevate and move forward mm -hmm. uh, with their future. Well, what is happening then in public education? Mm -hmm. The poor, mm -hmm. and especially African-American students. Mm -hmm. And I want to emphasize African-American males. Mm -hmm. We are being mm -hmm. miseducated. Mm -hmm. See, it's one thing to be under the same roof mm -hmm. with majority people. Mm -hmm. But I can be under the same roof mm -hmm. and still be what? Miseducated. Mm -hmm. When I'm being taught by people who does not like mm -hmm. me, who does not have any compassion or love for me, mm -hmm. people who teach at me mm -hmm. and not to me, mm -hmm. people who does not understand my subculture, mm -hmm. not trying to understand, mm -hmm. people who misunderstand mm -hmm. the goal of public education. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called public, public education. education. Mm -hmm. We educate everybody. Mm -hmm. And by the way, public education 
was an achievement mm -hmm. or was a system that came out of mm -hmm. the Reconstruction period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We must understand that we educate everybody. Mm -hmm. But when we look at public education today, and especially in Tennessee, we have what they call magnet schools. Okay, well, let's, let, let's uh, stop here, uh, okay. uh, Dr. Baxter, because I think we're just about running out of time. All right. And I appreciate your passion. Very good. And, but uh, uh, we, we're just about out of time. And okay. let us encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.